Tonight, the driver of this deadly wrong way crash from July makes his first court appearance before a judge shortly after turning himself in. Good evening. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Joshua. According to new documents, police say the suspect called 911 himself immediately following that crash. Mariah Rock joins us now live to tell us what else we learned from newly released documents today. Mariah. Josh and Kim, nearly two months after this accident happened, Justin Worley appeared in court today before a judge asking that his bond be reduced. Today, I spoke with the wife of the victim, and she told me, quote, our family is breaking apart, and he walks because of who he knows. A late afternoon court appearance to determine bond for a suspected wrong way driver. Saudi Daisy police announced warrants for Justin Whaley late Monday night, nearly two months after this happened. Police say Whaley drove several miles the wrong way on Highway 111. Back in July, he collided with James Brumlow head on, killing him. It was disappointing. Um, I, you know, I know the family is uh, is really relying on on a lot of people to actually bring justice into a uh, into a senseless act. According to the arrest warrant narrative, Whaley called 911 after the crash. He says he was unclear on how he himself was traveling the wrong way. In the document, it says Whaley admitted to drinking during the night and had intentionally stayed the night at that friend's house. I'm, uh, I personally, in in my 20 years plus of uh, law enforcement have not encountered anything of this, you know, happening this fast. The district attorney argued with Judge Barry Steelman about whether Whaley was getting treated like the others who face similar charges. It appears that he doesn't have to play by the rules as everybody else. The Hamilton County Sheriff's Department says that he worked in law enforcement in the past as a reserve deputy from March of 2016 until October of 2017. A spokesperson said that he resigned due to the fact that he could not complete the number of hours. Reporting in Chattanooga, Mariah Rock, News Channel 9. Thank you, Mariah. Ultimately, the judge decided to lower the bond from $600,000 to $50,000. Whaley has to wear a GPS monitor, an alcohol monitoring system, and his driver's license was revoked. A Chattanooga police officer resigns after.